The Better Business Bureau is alerting Americans of scams from fraudulent moving companies. Examples include price gouging, like demanding a higher amount than the initial estimate once the goods are already loaded onto the moving truck, or demanding additional money to unload items, effectively holding them hostage. The BBB says it receives an average of 13,000 complaints and negative reviews about movers each year. Joining us now to talk about moving scams is Steve Furness. He is the president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Chicago and Northern Illinois. Thank you so much for coming on. My pleasure. Thank you for having me tonight. So the eviction moratorium is over. That's why we're doing this story. There is expected to be a spike in business for moving companies this month. And I'm sure all of us who have moved have had the experience of, of budgeting for an estimate only to find out it's two or three times what you were quoted. And now the movers are holding all your belongings hostage. How common is this? Unfortunately, it's all too common. The Better Business Bureau has released this major study in 2020 exhibiting this type of problem, especially with interstate movers, movers going you know, from state to state. We saw a big problem with rogue movers or unlicensed movers. While there's a great number of good movers out there, unfortunately, the bad movers are ruining the industry for the others by promising these you know, people these cheap, inexpensive moves. And, and when they get there, the price is increased or they won't give your 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 uh, your inform your move back. Yeah, and and even the companies with with reputable names and reviews, a lot of them use the pandemic, right? And they say they can't do a proper in person estimate because it's not safe. So how do you get around that? Well, there's usually as an excuse because most movers will come out still during the pandemic as well. But those are those are brokers who are in another state who are just really brokering this deal for another moving. That's why they don't want to come out because they're not even there. So they're just trying to find somebody else. So you should find a mover that you know and trust and the mover that you have, the ones that you have locally will come out as well. What happens uh, when movers ask you to sign the paperwork and hand over your credit card before the job is done in the middle of your move? And then at that point, all your stuff is on the truck or half of it is on the truck and you're not really in the position to read the fine print because you're under a time limit. Exactly. That's why you want the contract ahead of time to look at it before you go out. Most legitimate movers won't ask for the only deposit, not all the money or your credit card ahead of time, only upon delivery. So really asking the company ahead of time to see the contracting contract, review it and make sure it meets your needs and wants before doing business with them. If not, then go somewhere else. And even some companies, you know, I've experienced this even with companies with good reviews, right? We move a lot in this business. They give you a discount, knock off some of the exorbitant price, exorbitant price if you agree to leave a good review for them or you agree not to post a negative review. Is that legal? Well, it might, not, it might be legal, but they shouldn't do it. A lot of companies, the FTC looks at that as well, and they want the consumer to make sure that they are aware that when you're posting a review, they're getting paid for it. So really, we want most uh, legitimate websites don't ask for, you know, won't give you uh, money up front to do something to leave a review. They just want you to leave a review after it's done. So if they ask you to leave something and offer your payment, that's not good at all. Um, what are some of the other moving related schemes and what can you do about it if you've already fallen victim to one of them? Well, the first thing is look at look uh, research a mover exactly with the Better Business Bureau or other sources. A lot of the movers go under different names. They kind of make it look like they're a national mover or they use a similar name of a mover. They try to deceive you in that way. It's important for you to check out with the Better Business Bureau, but other sources of information. And, and if they're licensed, to check their license. If insurance, check their insurance. So many times consumers just go on the uh, Google search engines and pick the first mover at top. And guess what? Those are the scammers who buy those ads at the top, and you have to do the research on them because otherwise you can deal with a disreputable mover. And moving is so stressful. These are great tips to know. Thank you so much for coming on the show from the Better Business Bureau, Steve Burnus. Thank you. My pleasure.